this is in this herbarium, uh, which are the samples uh, that they have. And also, if the sample, uh, if this species in the red list, there is a link here, like a species, the, the red uh, species is, is because this species in the, the red list, if you click there, you go straight to the, the red list and you can see like the degree of uh, threat for that species. And here, like you can ask like for all the samples available in this herbarium that were collected in Minas Gerais state. And also you can add layers that we integrate like from the Brazilian Ministry of Environment and uh, this is the CREA map, and then you can plot like uh, this, the, 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 the species data on the layers, and you can do uh, also the plotting of this data like in Google Maps, here, like here. Yeah, and also it's important to say that we have like the complete uh, do no integration with all the images and so we have like for, for plants we have like 4 million records and uh, 250,000 50, images associated with uh, those uh, 4 million records. So if you have like this possibility to do that in association and then you can ask like for the name of one species and ask for all the images that you have like in the different herbaria for the for this unique species and you can uh, build up like a virtual book such that you can just compare like the different images like available in the different herbaria you can do zoom in zoom out and uh, so it's quite quite nice you can measure and so there are lots of tools like to to do taxonomy um, again, uh, this is the, the species card where you have like for each uh, species that's available in the system, we have like this mechanism to, to build up like the species card and then you have like the taxonomic information, you have like the collection data, you also have information is if we have like information from other systems. So uh, we, we is integrated to the information of the list of uh, Brazilian species and also the Flora Brasiliensis and all the credits. One important thing is that uh, we give all the credit all the time for the information provider. Here is, you see the collection and here you see who is responsible for information, how to quote and uh, uh, restrictions of uh, use. So here like uh, comparative analysis of different samples and uh, here is to show uh, the growth of the network is a little bit updated L last year was in June last year was 5.4 million and now we have more than 6 million records. So it's, it's growing, you know, like uh, exponential growth and also, you know, like there's not, not all the collections that are contributing with data are getting funds. Like in the case of the herbaria, yes, because we have a project. And so they're getting like fellowships and, uh, and equipment and things like that. But like for other collections that join the network, we, we just uh, offer like the services to make uh, the data available. So for the species link network, we have a large number of partners and uh, this, is, this is fantastic because uh, that uh, I think Town just mentioned, okay, we, we, we uh, somehow we are like an indispensable effort. Uh, what they say, okay, if uh, they kill CREA, <laughs> we will have to create another institution that will do the, the work that CREA is doing. Okay. Strategic alliances and cooperation and uh, the South-South and the South-North cooperation and a few examples. Okay, when you think about um, uh, South America, Latin America, okay, like that analysis of the hotspots said like six countries in Latin America are mega diverse country. And so in Latin America, there's about 70% of all plant and animal species 
based on what we think. So basically, I think this we have like to refine uh, this type of analysis. In the past, was done by G by 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 CBD uh, with a lot of money to develop like the global outlook, global biodiverse outlook. And now I think we have like much better doc mechanisms to produce much more precise and online information. But anyhow, like biodiverse conservation is a key issue for socioeconomic development in Latin America. When you look at uh, the map uh, of land conversion in Brazil, um, for this is data, 10 years old data. Look at hap what, what happened. So by the time, 35% uh, of, of Brazil uh, was converted land. Uh, in the last uh, 20 years, after the, the I, I did a, a, the sum of year by year, how much Brazil lost in forest uh, coverage. Since '92, that's the year of uh, the, the the Hill meeting and the and uh, the biodiverse convention. Bi biodiverse convention, we lost uh, an area of forest that's that's uh, equivalent to the to Spain. That's a big country in Europe. So it's not not trivial. So it's it's big and uh, and in like last year I, I went back up again. And so I think uh, we have like a major problem and uh, we have to get to those places that are being destroyed before the loggers and before the, 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 the farming practice because you know like all, all this destruction here, like if you look here, here, here is the, the wetlands and here is uh, to plant soybean. So we are destroying forests uh, to, to sell commodities mainly for China and it's cheap and uh, because we have like uh, fertile soil and water and uh, this is going to go because like uh, here like in the south of Brazil uh, where we had like uh, the, all this, the, the soybean plantations now is, is uh, useless earth, like is, you can, is not good any longer to agriculture. And so we are just losing, you know, forests and also like a capacity for sustainable agriculture in the future. Uh, so that's the approach that we are using to develop like the, the Brazilian virtual herbarium. So there is like this project for develop the herbarium. And so if you look like uh, in Brazil, we have like uh, about 7 million samples in the Brazilian herbaria. And when you have like uh, compare with a uh, uh, conservative estimate of the world uh, uh, samples in herbaria, this is about 2%. And uh, then we start like the development of the Brazilian virtual herbarium in, in uh, 2009. And uh, uh, by the time, out of the 25 uh, herbaria that uh, uh, declared interest like to be uh, a member of this, uh, this network, 18 were already online through the species link network. So that's why you need like to you know this infrastructure to develop special thematic projects. Uh, okay, after five years, uh, now we have uh, 76 herbaria in Brazil integrated to the, to the network and plus five international, five herbaria abroad, that's the New York Botanical Garden, some samples of the Smithsonian, Missouri Field Museum, and uh, the Paris Museum. And so there's you know, a long way to build up like a comprehensive uh, system uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, sharing records of Brazilian samples. 
so uh, the target was uh, like uh, uh, the start point. We started with 1.5 million records online, and uh, then the target was to have like 3 million records online. And I was translated, and then my translation time, because this presentation was done two weeks ago, like in the you know, meeting to make the assessment of the results of the, the Brazilian National Institutes. There are like 126 national institutes being funded by, by, by the National Research Council. And, uh, but like this is one of the projects. Uh, so in July of uh, 2000, the, the, the target was 3 million. In July of uh, 2013, and this project goes, goes to the end of this year, we got more than 4 million records, and we are getting a, an average rate of more than half a million records a year. Uh, also, we had like additional projects, like uh, that's the, the one to serve like the images. Uh, and so uh, by the time we had like 335,000 images, now we have like 250,000 images. And also we have like all the text and all the plates from the, the Florida Brasilenses Online integrated, all the images integrated. And uh, the third target was to improve the quality of the data. And um, sorry that's not translated here, but like uh, after doing the analysis of the data that was provided by, by, the, by the network, uh, the specialists uh, made a very careful analysis analysis to, to make a program of visits to, to, the, to, the, to their barrier distributed uh, around the country. And so like depending on you know, like the taxa that their barrier would, uh, would be focused, they would send like the best experts in taxonomy to stay like one week in, in their barrier, just going through all the samples and looking like uh, if the taxonomy was right and you know, providing all the guidance like to the curators, how to improve the quality of the data. And so, as a result, uh, 69 experts uh, were visited uh, uh, 122 collections, and uh, more than 40,000 specimens were examined. Uh, and, uh, and so I think this, was, this had a major impact uh, on the quality of the data of this infrastructure. And also, uh, was, it's important to mention the development of tools, not uh, the continuous development of tools to, to do the data cleaning and also to improve the, the mechanisms for georeferencing the, the samples. Uh, okay, here we've seen this one. Uh, here, like, uh, again, like, data quality, and uh, here like the use of the images and uh, the taxonomic information associated, like uh, building up books and uh, mechanisms to compare like samples, like uh, images of samples available in the different herbarium. And so all this was quite much used like in the, the, the visits of the experts. Uh, here is uh, an interesting example of uh, e-taxonomy. It's because like uh, the herbaria, they have like the, the data and uh, the images of the samples available online. And so, but uh, you know, like we have like this network of uh, 500 uh, plant taxonomists. And so, like, for many of those samples, mainly cacti, there is one expert in Missouri that knows a lot, in, in, in Kew Gardens, that knows a lot about the Brazilian cactus. And so she did a complete analysis of all the cactus that was provided by the Species Link Network. And then there is a mechanism where she can send comments, like, to the curator. And then she's saying, okay, uh, certainly this is not a... Uh, uh, a specimen of this, uh, this species, 
And uh, then she uh, then Daniela Zap from Q asked uh, if the curator could uh, could send an image of high resolution for the the correct identification. And then the curator got the message and immediately he sent the image. And the next day, she was able he was able to do the to the, to do the updating with uh, the the proper data about like the. The, 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 the taxonomic status of this, uh, this sample. So that's, that's a way where you can mobilize the experts in the network to improve uh, data quality. Okay. Uh, here, uh, like mechanisms to do, to do online data analysis and comparison of uh, the names available in the, in the network with, uh, with uh, the, 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 the catalog of life. Uh, here again, the growth of online data. And also another important issue is updating. As we have like a specific project to support the collections, the collections are doing a lot of updating. Okay, like in, uh, one year, 90% of the associated herbaria did uh, uh, update the, 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 the database. And, but like, uh, this is one year, but like, uh, when you think like, uh, uh, in the last, last six months, all those, this is in the last six months, and this is uh, in, in uh, the last 12 months, and this is more than one year. So, uh, here, talking about, uh, here, like, should be moving because, you know, like, not all the, the, the partner institutions could fit in this page, but, like, I, I think this uh, computer cannot do it. Okay, so now we, we, we have like the challenge that we are facing now. We have to think about like the target, uh, the AISHI targets for 2020. And I think like uh, if we get like the grants for, for the further development of this network in the next five years, I think we are going to be able to achieve the first uh, target of the GSPC that's uh, to have like the online flora of all known plants of Brazil. Now we have like the list of plants, list of uh, plant species, but now we will start to work on the online flora. And also uh, we are quite sure that we will, with uh, this uh, database, improve the data content and with good quality, we will be able to move ahead in the, in the assessment of the conservation status for all known plant species in Brazil. And I think this is going to be very possible. And also, uh, I think uh, we will continue to develop like the, the tools and methods to, to, to achieve the 2020 target like for plants in Brazil. I think like for animals is a completely different history, but like for plants, I think we're doing quite well. And now we um, are formalizing the partnerships uh, with other Brazilian national institutes. Uh, I, uh, this morning I mentioned to you the, the, the Brazilian, the, 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 the information system on Brazilian biodiversity. And uh, now uh, we, are, we are getting funds to, to integrate all the, the products that we have like achieved so far, like in the last 12 years, to this, uh, to this, uh, to this Brazilian network in partnership with uh, the National Laboratory of, uh, Laboratory of uh, Scientific Computing, the National Research Network, and with uh, the funds from GF and the uh, Brazilian government. And uh, also, we are uh, recently, we, 
we had like several projects uh, like uh, associated with uh, with partnerships. Um, I mentioned uh, the, the the National Institute for the Virtual Barbarian. Now uh, we are just starting like this interaction with the Brazilian Biodiversity Information Network. But also we had like lots of collaboration with uh, Europe uh, in the last two years. And uh, it's important to mention like two projects uh, in a co-funding mechanism such that uh, Europe uh, is paying like for all the developments in, in EU and uh, Brazil is paying for all the developments in Brazil. So this is, uh, oops, 